Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a collective message, so let's hop right into it. We are first going to shuffle and get an oracle card, and then we'll grab some tarot and see what messages are in store for you today. Hope you're doing amazing. And this is going to be a timeless collective reading, so please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. So, wow, we actually had two that came out. We've got You Got the Love, Hadarian Energy, Codependency, Boundaries. So some of you are in the midst of creating these healthy boundaries with certain connections, possibly um, distancing yourself from certain connections, and for others, actually aligning yourselves um, more in tune with these relationships. So with the Child of the Cosmos, says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So right now that really signifies that any changes you're going through, any situations you currently face, um, you do have the answers within. You are being guided by your spirit team. So we're going to do one more. Let's see if there's anything else they need you to know. Okay, there's like two here, so we'll take one. Water your garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. So for some of you, you're being called to recharge right now to spend some time really focusing on you in any little ways that you can just to really improve your overall health and way of being. This is not only going to help you, but it's also going to help boost your overall sense of being on a daily basis and your vibration right so spirits encouraging you to step right into that so let's hop into some tarot and see what messages are coming out for some of you you're about to go on a journey if you notice in the card there it's like a solo mission and just focusing on self-love and growth and healing you could be an earth sign as well virgo capricorn or taurus Wow, so we've got three of wands in reverse as the first card out. So wherever you were previously felt feeling a lack of like either imbalanced emotions or passions per se, things are about to get balanced out again. You could have been feeling pretty off too when it comes to things you normally love to do and possibly feeling too like a lack of love in your life for some of you. Okay, thank you, spirit so here we've got quite a few cards first one out is the eight of cups there in reverse ace of cups beautiful so you're about to have some new love in your life after a time of a lot of immature offers people that were in and out look at that beautiful someone who's passionate and loyal though someone who wants to give you their heart and wants to stick around after a long time of feeling betrayed, defeated, and for some of you just straight up lied to, you could have had a partner that was painting some sort of illusions and things were a lot different than what they seemed. And this person had options. They made you one of their options. But notice how the Seven of Cups is in reverse. So it's deceit. And for some of you, you could have believed you were this person's option when in reality they had other options they were entertaining as well. For a lot of you, I feel like you've gone it alone, really been focused, and if not, this is something that's been coming up. Notice though, you'll be okay. It's like things could seem really off track or off your path. Could feel like a big stall too in your life, like you're trying to fulfill your passions and wish fulfillments. For some of you, more focused on your career and improving your life overall. And you could have really felt like you found that within this person. And then ultimately you feel a lot more like you had to go it alone. You're left out in the cold when all is said and done. This person was immature. For some of you, this could have been a fire or a water sign and a Gemini as well with the lovers there. Now with the lovers coming in though, you're going to meet someone new, someone who's really going to set your heart on fire that little heart emoji with the flame. <laughs> They're really going to excite you in a new passionate way about life and love and relationships. And so we're going to get a few clarifiers on that. 
I feel like the main focus of this reading, though, is to trust that not everyone will betray you. You can open your heart up to a few people. So we just had this flip out, the Queen of Pentacles. So right now, a lot of you have been more focused on finding that stability. For some of you, you could be focused on career, right? Um, building up, saving, or trying to get to a more balanced place in your life where you previously felt lack. And with this and the Three of Wands both being in reverse, it's like these represent passion, right? Stability, motivation, drive. So for a lot of you, you could have felt really drained and depleted after going through these situations and just felt a lack mentality or mindset, right? Like you were noticing how you had been betrayed and deceived and lack, lack of people or this lack of love from this person. For a lot of you, you could have really put your heart into this relationship. But what they want you to see is this person was immature they were throwing their wand around, right? They weren't someone who was committal. They were passionate with whoever they met. And this person just wasn't ready to settle down. And if you're in the Queen of Pentacles mode, she's balanced. She's nurtured. She's stable. And she's focused, right? Determined. And that's definitely the vibe for a lot of you that you're currently feeling. And Spirit wants you to keep up that mentality because that's when you'll meet someone who is more grounded who has more to match with your energy or vibe in particular okay spirit that was a lot but we had the six of cups literally flipped over so we will take these as the reading here six of cups eh? in the upright so you're gonna get that family you're gonna get that happy long-term stable family but it's gonna come after a long time of someone in particular just trying to Pull the wool over your eyes, leave you out in the cold, maybe make you feel like you didn't deserve this relationship with them or you didn't deserve to have a long-term commitment with anyone. I feel like for a lot of you, though, this person just played these games because look at that. Five of Wands in reverse. They had other people caught up in this same whole scenario. So they were trying them, their best not to get themselves caught up. Um, for some of them, they actually... Your person was in these multiple relationships for some sort of abundance, some sort of opportunity, right? With the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, though, it was a selfish thing that they did. And High Priestess, you could have picked on to this, picked up as to what they were doing. They were essentially trying to stop your growth in some sort of way by holding on to you and ultimately either blocking your pentacles or going behind your back to create opportunities with others to um, increase their pentacles in a way, though, that it also blocked theirs by trying to block yours. So really interesting energy here. A lot of reversals, a lot of negative energy that this past person was in. And overall, just seeing the seven pentacles in reverse um, just really signifies to me someone stopping your growth, right? Try, trying to keep you from moving forward. Now, you've been awoken to this by spirit. You definitely have the willpower and the drive right now to get away from this person or this situation in particular. <clears throat> For some of you, you're being guided to wear beads at this time. Some sort of spiritual beads, prayer beads. They may help in protection, You've got a lot of spiritual protection around you, though, and they're almost letting you know that you are, have that connection with your spirit team and you are aligned right now. Your chakras are open. You are understanding the situation. They don't want you to doubt it or think maybe there's something you're not seeing as to why the scenario played out the way it did, because it's really saying in reality, like it, it's something that this person either just does with others or. Or no matter what, they were planning on blocking your growth in some sort of way. And ultimately, you walking away is the best thing you can do. Really focusing on home, on stability, on your own future. So we're going to clear these up. It's definitely turned out to be more of a love reading. Let's see if you've got someone new coming in or what's the energies coming up.
Okay, so we had one flip there. <clears throat> Knight of Swords in reverse. Not wanting to leave a situation. Trying your best not to walk away from it. Maybe you're trying to hold on to this past person still. Hoping that they will change, right? That they will give you that commitment, that stability, home and work and love balance that you've been looking for, that emotional availability. Now, with the Queen of Cups being in the upright, it is a good thing because it means this, this person is emotionally available, but are they emotionally available for this relationship? So let's see what comes out. Okay, so off the hop, we've got the Three of Cups. Now, it's neither here nor there because it came out sideways. So we'll put it upright so it looks more visually pretty, but Three of Cups represents third-party energy. Wow, and the moon flipped out. So definitely a lot of illusions behind this relationship. They're saying if you're holding on it any type of way, um, it's best not to because this person is trying to avoid you as well at this moment. They're trying to not answer or own up to any past illusions that they've created or other relationships they've been involved with. You could have been dealing with a water sign or an air sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. We've got double cup energy though and the moon. So Pisces and then... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, wow. So four of cups in the reverse. So you've been spending a lot of time in your head about this situation as if. So now we have the ace of cups flipped out this time in the reverse. Feeling heartbroken. Feeling a sense of defeat. A loss. Kind of like a betrayal, right? Just so confused. Especially if this person has now suddenly left the situation for some of you with this third party energy they could have a new person in their life wow well beautiful at least the seven of wands three of wands came out together and they're in the upright so with that that really signifies that you're regaining your passion and your sense of drive and ability to realize that you can get yourself out of this situation you can really heal and move forward and let go of this past energy with the two of cups in reverse, ultimately, this person was just trying to take from you more than they were trying to give to the situation. And you deserve someone who wants to have a reciprocal relationship, a balanced love between you, right? One that where there's not outside relationships and you're really just focused on being faithful. So for a lot of you, this will come in after a time of walking away from these illusions this deceit and this non-committal partner. I feel like overall spirit is giving you the drive and ability to have a little bit of extra momentum when it comes to gaining a sense of oneself back and healing and figuring out now for some of you, it's like your interests have changed, your hobbies, your life, right? So now it's almost like catching up with that focusing on you because you've been so caught up in even for some of you trying to be this person you thought that this person needed you to be but in reality it was never that you weren't enough you were always enough for this person you were always emotionally available right and this person just chose to be in third parties instead and for a lot of you it's like chose to not be honest about it because especially if you're in separation from this person, they, of course, could have chose to just be honest about what they've been up to. But this is part of their illusions. This is part of what keeps the cycles going with you is them holding back and intentionally holding back this information in hopes that when you come back together, they can do it all over again. So for some of you, just really be aware of this energy. We're going to get one or two love messages from this person because I feel like y'all deserve um, so much better if this resonates. It says, I can't understand my own emotions. So this person's admitting that maybe they are all over the place. They like want to settle down, but at the same time, they just don't. There's something within them that's immature and doesn't do it. Okay, so we had a few pop out, so we'll take two more. Top two here. It says, let me show you off more. I feel like this person had all the chances, though, possibly to show you off, and they never did, right? They always 
we're too caught up in other relationships other people wow so we'll take two more because i was just going to take the top one but look at the one below it it really signifies it says i'm sorry for hurting you so bad so this person's at least acknowledging the fact that they have put you through a lot of hurts especially if they've left you out in the cold when it comes to love and being emotionally attached right for some of you, you could have been in longer term commitments for others of you okay there's actually one behind that there i had no idea so interesting we've got two more messages as if i only said i was gonna get one or two but this person has a lot to say so maybe for some of you too you haven't been speaking with this person and it seems like they've been coming up with what they want to say to you in particular it says i do not fear struggle anymore because i know with you by my side we can overcome anything i love you so there is your person and one more that I didn't even know was there says I often picture what life would be like for the long term with you and it makes me really happy. So I feel like this person does see you as someone they could have this long term commitment with, but they know too that they've hurt you in a lot of sort of ways. And for some of you, they just haven't been honest. Now with this two of cups being in reverse, it's almost like this person would rather walk away from the relationship than own up to what they've done to you. So just be aware because it's kind of like a big warning here um, from spirit or like a red flag if you know that this person would rather omit to you what they've done previously and they know they've hurt you. So they're admitting that, right? But they're not fully owning up to what they've done and they don't necessarily seem like they're ready to commit with this three of cups, the moon, and two of cups in reverse, right? Two of cups in reverse is opposite of commitment. It's almost like ending commitments as well. So for some of you, they could want to just completely walk away from this and entertain other options here. And it's almost like they'd rather do that than own up to what they've maybe done for some of you. For some of you, maybe they just know like you could have talked about it too, you could have both had these standards in a relationship and if someone crossed those boundaries automatically um, you'd had maybe those conversations that it would be over. So your person could be sitting on the sidelines already have crossed all those boundaries and more and they're not willing to own up to it. So they could even be entertaining other options um, and for most of you they've already walked away, cut off the relationship and decided to try something new as to opposed to owning up to what they've done but they do see you as this queen of cups someone very emotionally loving giving nurturing and available and i feel like too this could be why this energy is holding back from you because they know they put you through a heartbreak and they almost know if whatever they have to say or tell you is going to do it again and maybe if not worse so it's almost like they just would rather keep it to themselves walk away than actually own up to what they've done here a lot of cup energy, so you could definitely be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio Pisces. We've also got fire energy um, double up here. But look at all the cups. Cups, 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 the moon cups. So heavy water energy and also just really representing emotions. So the two of you are really just emotional still about the situation could be something this person keeps to themselves and maybe same with you. Both of you are just feeling let down by the way the connection went. But ultimately, it's like this person realizes what they did, what they put you through. So they know um, for some of you, it's best that they do just walk away. But it's like the way they're going about it, right? They aren't being open and honest with you. And for a lot of you, you've always been open and honest with your person. And instead of giving that explanation boom knight of swords in reverse right running away from the situation without any explanation and any further sort of conversation even for some of you this person could have ghosted you so let's get one more message see if there's anything else this person has to say it says we belong together through the good and the bad i want you by my side so this person's definitely working on healing it seems like they have a lot still to go. They're still non-committal. They're still holding back stuff. So if anything, it's almost like spirit saying to always choose self-love and 
Remember who you are and who you were in the relationship. You are always emotionally available and giving and loving, right? And you deserve that from someone, um, not someone who's hurt you so bad. But also at the same time, if this person chooses to grow and to change and to heal, it could be something that you may want to consider. Now, spirit, though, I feel like because this is the final message here to cups, spirit is just saying it could be ultimately a situation that does cause you more um, heartbreak or loss and feeling like you're in a non-committal relationship than actually happy in a stable, loving, com committed relationship. So just something to be aware of. And with the moon, this person could be having other relationships or doing this with someone else. And particularly as well, Queen of Cups, boom, if that wasn't your energy, emotionally available, open, giving, loving, there could also be a water sign on the sidelines that this person is giving to Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So we're going to leave that reading there. I really hope that resonated for you. Overall, it's just a message that this person is still healing and learning and for a lot of you acknowledging the fact that they have hurt you but they haven't made the changes to really balance themselves and get on your level so really it's going to be up to you but for a lot of you if this person is in another relationship it's almost like they're saying to put that focus on you and instead of this person saying well let me show you off more now it's like um you show you off right you go get it you dress up you show you off and Live that life for you and watch this person come in that really loves you and respects you as you are focused on your own passions and your own dreams. So thank you so much. Take care and hope that resonated for you. Until next time.